uh, Cicado's doing a lot of work on immigration. They've been doing it for for a very long time. Uh, they've got a they've got some really good scholars working there. What is it that you hope to add to what Cato's already doing or to the debate about immigration, to the discussion about immigration? So yeah, Cato is doing a, a great job. They have Alex Norasta and David Beer particularly. I follow them and I read everything they publish. They do excellent research uh, and they're really good at debates and raising awareness of the issue. Now, what I see in general in the immigration debate that is lacking is a philosophical framework to the discussion. So what I see most is the anti-immigrant side has uh, like a bunch of uh, alleged facts, right? And then the pro-immigrant side, they rebuke those facts, which is like the pro-immigrant side has the realities on their side, right? But there's like a whole philosophical debate that needs to happen it's because when you get a um, when you get an objection like, well, immigrants displace Americans and they take American jobs, they take the jobs away from Americans. Like if you respond, well, that's not true. Here's the data you're kind of conceding the premise in the first place that the Americans have a right to a job. And like, I think one in, in that particular instance, for example, what needs to happen is to address, well, yes, we'll give you the facts and reality is on our side because, the, uh, because morality is on our side. Like say, well, do you, what makes you think that anyone has a right to a job? They have a right to work. They have a right to, they have a right to be hired if someone wants to hire them. but they no one has a right to a job and to be exempt from competition. So that is the type of I think that of debate uh, that we need at this point. Uh, so uh, there's certainly an issue of of um, of, a, uh, of this notion of a right to employment that uh, the opponents of immigration use all the time. Uh, they're also wrong in economics, of course, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, immigrants create jobs; they don't take jobs. I mean, uh, the, the the economics of it is pretty clear. The the, the data, both empirical and theoretical work that has been done on immigration shows from an economic perspective that immigrants create more jobs and they don't take, and they certainly, and they don't have a negative impact on wages. Um, what are the other kind of philosophical issues that are relevant to the entire immigration debate? Because at the end of the day, th this is uh, a, a, um, a philosophical issue. It, it's an issue of rights. Yeah, so um, there are several things that make up this debate. One of them is like there are a lot of issues. Basically, every objection to immigration is uh, can be addressed philosophically, and I think should be addressed uh, philosophically. So, um, for instance, you have the question, you have the, the objection to immigration that says, "Okay, well, immigrants have used the welfare state," and that can be addressed, of course. Like, I mean. If someone is paying and uh, taxes and they get such huge amounts of money drawn from their paycheck every single month, they don't want to see someone that uh, just crossed the border or just you know got off the plane taking that money that they that they contributed. This is not to say that we're in favor or that I'm in favor of the of the welfare state in the first place, but I can see the irritation uh, from people and well you have to address the welfare state in general. So, but if you can't do much about the welfare state, what you can do is say, well, instead like Alex Norasta from, from Cato Institute says, like, instead of getting, of building a wall around the country, build a wall around the welfare state. And don't let immigrants get any welfare, which they don't in the first place, largely a myth, but we can talk about that later. But you can frame that and make people understand uh, from a more philosophical perspective, a more abstract perspective that, that immigrants shouldn't have that right to get welfare, they don't. And well, you can address the welfare state more broadly too. But other issues are, for instance, okay, no one has a right to come here to America. It's you know a prerogative that we grant them. Well, there is a right of movement and there's also the right to, of Americans that are violated when there are so many uh, in restrictions on immigration. Because I like to say that every restriction on immigration is a restriction on native born Americans because they are unable to hire whoever they want, to invite to their home however they want. They have to ask permission from the government to uh, live in America with their spouse if their spouse has been was born abroad. So there are so many issues that are philosophical in this, in this debate. And we need to, I think, 
bring that that context, that framework a little bit more. 